If you've been following along in the course, you may have noticed that I haven't yet covered the whole operation or the additive subtractive helix operations. These could have been introduced earlier in the course, but I've chosen to dedicate a separate chapter to them due to their unique use cases. Creating geometry that follows a helix path is quite simple with the additive or subtractive helix tools. These allow you to create a 2D profile and automatically sweep it in the shape that you need. For example, we can create a very simple spring by sketching a profile on a side plane, positioning the profile at a distance from the origin. This will determine the diameter of the spring. And then when you apply the helix operation, you can customize the pitch, height, and angle. The resulting solid will follow the cross section of the sketch profile. To create other applications, some simple modification is needed. For example, to create such things as an Archimedes screw, we can first apply a pad operation to create the shaft, and then extend the profile horizontally to touch the center. Once the helix operation is added, this creates a solid model. To create a fan, it's a very similar process. By increasing the pitch of the profile, extending the helix, we create a single blade. We then can apply a polar pattern to create the additional blades around the shaft. When it comes to such applications as threading, helix operations can be used, but there's also the part design hole operation, which allows you to apply threads that conform to a standard. When working with a spiral shape, we have to turn to a different workbench, one of which is the part workbench. Just as we did in the previous video, where we used the subject binder and the draft workbench to enable missing pattern operations, this time we'll use a 2D primitive from the part workbench. Within them we can find the spiral primitive, which can serve as a path for a pipe operation, or even a path for a draft array. From there we can use our subshape binder to bring the result into our part design workflow. So that was a quick introduction to this chapter with some practical applications for the helix operations. We will delve further into those in our next lesson. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.